How are we going to get saved when Esau finally come down on Israel? How are we going to make it when they cut off the borders and start slaughtering our people? Those are the things we need to focus on. Let's get Romans 9 and 11. For the children being not yet born. No, start at 10, if you, if you don't mind. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that called. So that kills any understanding that the Lord just said he hated Esau because it was, it was something Esau did. The Most High says that he hated Esau <laughs> or, or he dealt with these children and put the spirit in these children for their future before they were born. It says, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stay. So the Lord knew he was going to hate Esau before Esau was born. The Lord knew he was going to love Jacob before Jacob was born. Jacob was elected to get the promises and be the good in the earth. Esau was elected to rival Jacob and to fight him till the very end. Yes, the good and evil twin. That's what it's about. So, doesn't matter how much we march or how much we say uh, uh, no justice, no peace. There will never be justice or peace until Christ come back. Because he put enmity between Jacob and Esau. And they was fighting from the beginning. In the womb, they was fighting and they will fight until the end. Because Esau don't, do not like the fact that Jacob is going to get the blessing that he felt is rightfully his being the firstborn. He was the firstborn. So he still think that the blessings were stolen from him. And you notice even in the churches today, they teach Jacob was the wrong one. They teach Jacob was the wrong one and Esau was the good one. <laughs> that Jacob tricked him. Why? Because Esau is over the Christian doctrine. And in the same Bible, it shows you before Esau and Jacob was born, the Lord told Rebekah, the elder shall serve the younger. Read that, uh, that part again, the 11th verse. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. So it's, no, it's nothing they did to make the Most High love either, either to love Jacob or hate Esau. It's going to tell you that. Read. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. It was said to her before they were born, when they was fighting in the womb. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. As it is written where? In the book of Malachi. The Most High loved Jacob, and Esau have I hated. Read. What shall we say then? Now why did Paul write, what shall we say then? He knew that people would have a problem <laughs> with this statement. He knew people would say, well, hold up. How can God love someone and hate someone? Hold up. Don't you know that our attributes come from the Father? You mean to tell me we are created with greater attributes than the Father? We can get angry. We can get jealous. We can love. We can hate. We can get upset. But the Most High can only love. That means he created us with attributes superior to him. Okay? If you got two shirts in your closet right now, one is a black shirt and one is a white shirt. Or let's use the other colors. One is a brown shirt and one is a yellow shirt. You Now, don't mind you, you bought both of the shirts. If you say, listen, I'm going to put on my brown shirt today. You got a brown shirt and a yellow shirt. Can your yellow shirt jump out of the closet and say, well, hold up. Why you didn't wear me today? Why you didn't choose me? The Most High made them both. He made Jacob and Esau. Can't he choose from his, from his own creation? And then, here's the biggest trick or deception that I've put on the people. God loves everybody. Everyone's equal. If everyone is equal, why is one people are on the top and the other is on the bottom? <laughs> 
That don't even make sense in regular day society. In regular society, you know that that's not the case. The Lord says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Then Paul came and said,